Man, let me tell you, the energy inside the Smoothie King Center was electric. The moment you walked in, you could feel the excitement in the air. It was like a wave of enthusiasm that hit you right in the chest. The fans were buzzing, the lights were bright, and the anticipation was palpable. This wasn't just any regular season game, this was something special. Pelicans fans showed up ready to party. They were decked out in their team colors, waving flags and chanting at the top of their lungs. You could see the passion in their eyes, the hope that tonight would be their night. They had been waiting for this moment, and they were going to make sure their team felt their support. They were hungry for a win against a tough Indiana Pacers team. The Pacers, known for their gritty defense and relentless play, were not going to make it easy. But the Pelicans were ready to rise to the challenge. Every dribble, every pass, every shot was met with roars from the crowd. It was a battle on the court, and the fans were the sixth man, pushing their team forward. You could feel the buzz in the air. It was like electricity, crackling and sparking with every play. The fans were living and dying with every possession, their emotions swinging with the momentum of the game. It was a roller coaster of highs and lows, and everyone was strapped in for the ride. Both teams were ready to leave it all out on the court. The players were focused, intense, and determined. You could see it in their eyes during the warm-ups, in the way they huddled together, in the way they high-fived each other. This was more than just a game. It was a statement. They were ready to give everything they had, to fight for every point, to battle for every rebound. Fans were on the edge of their seats. Every shot, every steal, every block was met with gasps and cheers. The tension was thick and the excitement was contagious. You could see the intensity on their faces, the way they leaned forward, the way they clenched their fists. They were living every moment, feeling every emotion, riding the waves of the game. I'm talking about that playoff atmosphere, you know what I mean? It was like the stakes were higher, the pressure was greater, and the rewards were sweeter. The fans knew it, the players knew it, and everyone in the arena could feel it. This was what they had been waiting for, what they had been dreaming of. It was a night to remember, a night to savor. Everyone was ready for some high-flying action. The dunks, the blocks, the fast breaks, it was all part of the show. The players were putting on a display of athleticism and skill, and the fans were loving every minute of it. It was a spectacle, a showcase of what makes basketball so thrilling, so captivating. The Pelicans were looking to feed off that home crowd energy. They knew that the fans were their secret weapon, their source of strength. Every cheer, every chant, every clap was like fuel for their fire. They were determined to give their fans something to cheer about, to make them proud, to reward their loyalty and passion. The Pacers? They were ready to silence the doubters. They came in with a chip on their shoulder, with something to prove. They were focused, determined, and ready to take on the challenge. They knew it wasn't going to be easy, but they were ready to fight, to battle, to give everything they had. This was their chance to make a statement, to show the world what they were made of, and they were ready to seize it. The ball went up, and the battle began. The atmosphere was electric as fans from both sides roared in anticipation. The Pelicans and Pacers, two teams with a lot to prove, were ready to leave it all on the court. The tip-off was just the beginning of what promised to be an exhilarating contest. The players' eyes were locked on the ball, and as it reached its peak, the tension was palpable. The crowd held its breath, and then, with a swift motion, the game was on. The first quarter was a back-and-forth affair. Both teams came out swinging, trading baskets and playing with a level of intensity that had everyone on the edge of their seats. The Pelicans, known for their aggressive style, were relentless in their pursuit of an early lead. Meanwhile, the Pacers, with their strategic playmaking, were not backing down. It was a showcase of skill, determination, and sheer willpower from both sides. The Pelicans drew first blood. Their offense was clicking, and they managed to get on the scoreboard with a well-executed play. The crowd erupted as the ball swished through the net, signaling the start of what would be a high-scoring quarter. The Pelicans' bench was on their feet, cheering their teammates on, and the energy in the arena was infectious. Zion Williamson, that man-child just unstoppable in the paint! His presence was felt immediately as he muscled his way to the basket, showcasing his incredible strength and agility. Zion was a force to be reckoned with, and the Pacers had no answer for his dominance. Every time he touched the ball, it seemed like something spectacular was about to happen. He threw down a monster dunk early. The crowd went wild as Zion soared through the air, slamming the ball with authority. It was a statement play, one that set the tone for the rest of the game. His teammates fed off his energy, and the Pelicans looked poised to take control. 
The Pacers answered right back, though. They were not intimidated by Zion's heroics. With quick ball movement and sharp shooting, they managed to keep pace. The Pacers' resilience was on full display as they executed their plays with precision, ensuring that the Pelicans would not run away with the game. Tyrese Halliburton was dishing dimes like it was nothing. His vision and court awareness were exceptional, finding open teammates and creating scoring opportunities. Halliburton's playmaking was a key factor in the Pacers' ability to stay competitive. His passes were crisp, and his decision-making was impeccable, making him a constant threat on the floor. The lead changed hands a few times. Neither team could establish a significant advantage, and the score remained close throughout the quarter. It was a thrilling display of basketball, with both teams refusing to give an inch. The fans were treated to a high-octane performance, with each possession carrying the weight of the game's outcome. Both teams were playing with some serious intensity. The players were diving for loose balls, contesting every shot, and leaving everything on the court. The physicality of the game was evident, and it was clear that neither team was willing to back down. The first quarter was a testament to the competitive spirit of the NBA, where every game is a battle. The Pelicans' defense was swarming, forcing turnovers left and right. Their defensive pressure was relentless, disrupting the Pacers' rhythm and creating fast-break opportunities. The Pelicans' ability to force turnovers was a crucial aspect of their game plan, and it paid off as they managed to convert those opportunities into points. But the Pacers were hot from outside, knocking down threes like they were layups. Their shooting from beyond the arc was impressive, and it kept them in the game. The Pacers' ability to hit the long ball was a great equalizer, countering the Pelicans' inside dominance. Every three-pointer they made was met with cheers from their fans, adding to the excitement of the game. By the end of the first, it was a tight one. The score was close, and both teams had shown flashes of brilliance. The first quarter set the stage for what promised to be an epic battle. The fans were buzzing, and the players were ready for more. As the buzzer sounded, signaling the end of the first quarter, everyone knew that this game was far from over. The intensity, the drama, and the excitement were just beginning. The second quarter was all about the benches. Both teams knew that their bench players would be crucial in this game, and they did not disappoint. The energy from the sidelines was electric, with every player on the bench fully engaged and ready to contribute. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation and excitement as the reserves prepared to make their mark on the game. The Pelicans' reserves, led by that young gun, Trey Murphy III, brought the energy. Murphy, with his infectious enthusiasm and undeniable talent, was the spark that ignited the Pelicans' bench. His teammates fed off his energy, and it was clear that they were ready to make a statement. Murphy's presence on the court was felt immediately as he seamlessly integrated into the flow of the game. Murphy was feeling it from deep, splashing threes and getting the crowd hyped. Every time he released the ball, there was a sense of inevitability that it would find the bottom of the net. The fans could feel it too, and their cheers grew louder with each successful shot. Murphy's confidence was contagious, and it spread through the team like wildfire. His shooting performance was nothing short of spectacular, and it kept the Pelicans in the game. But the Pacers' bench mob had other ideas. They were playing scrappy, diving for loose balls and refusing to back down. The Pacers' reserves were determined to match the Pelicans' intensity, and they did so with a gritty, hard-nosed approach. Every loose ball was contested, and every possession was fought for with relentless effort. The Pacers' bench players were not just filling in. They were making a significant impact on the game. The momentum shifted a few times. Just when it looked like one team was pulling away, the other would answer right back. It was a back-and-forth battle, with neither team willing to give an inch. The lead changed hands multiple times, and the tension in the arena was palpable. Each team had its moments of brilliance, but neither could sustain a run long enough to create a comfortable lead. It was a game of runs, and both teams were trading blows like prize fighters in the ring. The intensity on the court was matched by the intensity in the stands as fans from both sides cheered their teams on. The players were leaving everything on the floor, diving for loose balls, making clutch shots, and playing tenacious defense. It was a display of heart and determination, with each team refusing to back down. By halftime, it was still anyone's game. The scoreboard reflected the closely contested nature of the match, with neither team able to establish a significant lead. As the players walked off the court, there was a sense of anticipation for what the second half would bring. The fans were buzzing with excitement, knowing that the game was far from over and that the best was yet to come. The stage was set for an epic conclusion and everyone in the arena could feel the tension building. 
At the half, it was a one-possession game. The Pelicans had a slim lead, but the Pacers were knocking on the door. Zion and Ingram were leading the charge for New Orleans, but Halliburton was putting on a show for Indiana. The crowd was buzzing. Could the Pelicans hold on in the second half? Or would the Pacers steal one on the road? We were all ready for the second half fireworks. This game had all the makings of a classic. Close score, high intensity, and two teams leaving it all out on the floor. The second half started, and both teams came out firing. The intensity was ratcheted up a notch. Every possession was a battle. The referees were letting them play. It was physical, it was intense, it was playoff basketball. Zion continued to be a force in the paint, but the Pacers' defense started to key in on him. They forced him to give up the ball. That's when CJ McCollum took over for the Pelicans. He got hot from mid-range, knocking down those silky smooth jumpers. Fourth quarter. Frenzy. The fourth quarter was where it was at. The score was tied with just a few minutes to go. The crowd was on its feet. Every basket, every rebound, every stop was met with a roar. This was crunch time, baby. Both teams traded baskets down the stretch. Neither team could get a stop. Halliburton hit a couple of clutch free throws to put the Pacers up by two with seconds left. The Pelicans had one last chance to tie or win the game. Down to the wire! The Pelicans called timeout. They needed a bucket. The tension was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Everyone in the building knew the ball was going to Zion. Zion got the ball on the block. He made his move. He went up for the shot. The buzzer sounded. That's a wrap. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. You got to watch the highlights to see what happened. Let me tell you, this was one for the ages. It was a game that had everything you could ask for. High flying dunks, clutch shooting, and a finish that had everyone on the edge of their seats. Player of the game, you decide. So, who you got? Was it Zion with his monster dunks? Or maybe McCollum with his clutch shooting? What about Halliburton? The man was dishing and swishing all night long. Cast your vote in the comments below. Let me know who you think deserves the player of the game honors.